Get your boy Jackie Dempsey and check it out. Now, listen, man, the rich keep getting richer and the broke niggas like me and you, we just keep trapping out the bando. That's just how life works. You know what I mean? Come on, all right? Now, here's the thing. And this is really, you know how DJ Khaled is talking about like mogul talk? Well, this is billionaire talk. This is the talks that the people who are about to buy a fucking island, okay, buy like a fucking Mount Everest worth of like Coke. This is what they really talk about. But we got to understand that if we're going to really understand the music industry and understand where this shit's going to go. Now, for the first time ever, first time fucking ever, the RIAA, who pretty much reports to all these record labels, right? They do a lot of, like, legal stuff for them. They reported that for the first time ever, the most profitable type of revenue came from streaming music, Okay. 34.3% of the revenue for the music industry was from streaming. 34 flat was from digital download. That's like iTunes and if you download something digitally. And physical, which means CDs and vinyls and I guess cast cassettes, if anybody still uses those, was 28.8, right? Now, this is the big thing. The big thing is that streaming is officially taken over and it's not going to look back. But here's the problem, because not everybody's happy. You think these billionaires are probably smoking a fucking Cuban cigar. They're probably piping out a bunch of like chicks who are fucking off like fucking mollies or something and they're going to have a good time. But here's the thing. They're looking like, yo, cool, streaming's taking over, but they're pointing to one thing that doesn't have them too happy. They look at the growth in streaming as opposed to the growth in what they're getting paid for streaming. So pretty much there was no growth in what they got paid. And if you guys are wondering how streaming works, two type of ways to get paid, right? If you got Apple Music or like Spotify or even Tidal, if you pay a monthly fee like $10 a month or $20 a month, whatever you pay, that goes and that gets separated and broken down to everybody who you fucking listen to, okay? Also to the service. So they kind of divvy up that 10 or 20 bucks. But if you're one of those people that's on the freemium plan, who every time you listen to Fetty Wap talking about, yeah, baby, you hear a fucking ad about Jello pudding, you will probably then not really give that much money to the company. The company basically got to sell an ad or run an ad when you listen to a song and then whatever that advertiser is paying, they then got to split that like 20 cents in with like 30 people. So basically, it's definitely not that profitable when people are streaming unless they're subscribing. So the record industry... They're basically looking at people like YouTube, who don't really have that uh, subscription plan in, in place yet. They're looking at people like SoundCloud, whose subscription plan hasn't taken off. And they're pretty much looking at everybody except Spotify. Apparently, Spotify, they have a great amount of subscribers, which means they probably generate a good amount of money. But for everybody else, they're really scrutinizing them. So basically, if you're wondering, man, streaming has officially taken over. It is the most profitable part of music at this point. However, people are still disappointed and the rich who keep getting richer, they're disappointed because they aren't seeing the money that they would see if people were buying in that amount. Like, for example, buying CDs in that amount or buying from iTunes in that amount because it's all dependent on or is they're really dependent on advertisers. So that's pretty much what it is, man. We got uncontent rich motherfuckers. They want more. And they're looking at people like Google. They're looking at people like Tidal. And they're saying, yo, we need some more bread, man. We, we see what y'all doing with the streaming shit. We see a couple people like it. But we need this moolah to be going up. So just keep that in mind. Because that will probably affect how they forced other companies to force us to have to subscribe to them. Okay, it's all a cycle. Believe me, when somebody not getting paid enough, they're going to make some change. It's going to eventually trickle down and affect us. So you got to keep that in mind. Get in the comment box. If you guys like, definitely subscribe. I hope I explained this in layman's terms that you guys could understand. Um, there's a link, or actually, I've put the charts here, but I got this stuff from um, The Verge and also the RIAA site directly. So you can check that out if you want, and um, you'll pretty much see the same thing, just with a lot more fucking words. Again, so comments. Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe. It's your boy Jack Academics, man. Come on.